morning students today we are going to learn about grammars uh, in the previous class we studied about the parallelogram today we are going to see about grammars uh, students uh, in the lower classes you might have studied about the uh, figures uh, square and rectangle we are in the class of the square rectangle patti padichirukinga 7th standard la pona class la nama parallelogram paathom illaya parallelogram is a closed figure in which opposite sides are equal what's the difference between rhombus and a parallelogram rhombus is also a four sided closed figure uh, in which all the four sides are equal rhombus um ore four sided figure da naalu pakkam irukku in which all the four sides are equal eh uh, opposite sides are equal all the four sides are equal in the parallelogram if all the sides are equal then it is called a rhombus in the parallelogram only opposite sides are equal but in the rhombus all the four sides are equal in a rhombus first point all the sides are equal then opposite sides are parallel to each other the diagonals here is a d1 and d2 bisect at right angles the diagonals are one the bisect each other at right angle 90 degree la one one intersect pannu the uh, now we will see the area of the rhombus area of the rhombus if the base and height are given base or height kuduthirundanga na area vandu base into height b into height square unit same area as that of parallelogram parallelogram ke base height kuduthirundha area na appadi edho b into height edho adhe area na formula na inge rhombus ko area equal to b into height square unit if the diagonals of the rhombus are given we studied that the diagonals intersect each other at right angles d1 d2 the diagonals kuduthirundha area calculate pandra formula half into product of the diagonals half into d1 into d2 the area of the rhombus if the diagonals are given formula is half into d1 into d2 square units listen students rhombus is nothing but a parallelogram it is a four sided figure in which all the four sides are equal in a rhombus opposite sides are equal opposite sides are parallel to each other and the diagonals intersect at right angles if the base and height of the rhombus is given area of the rhombus is b into height if the diagonals are given area of the rhombus is equal to half into d1 into d2 square unit let us see the example problems now example 2.6 find the area of the rhombus whose side is 7 cm 17 cm and the height is 8 cm what are the dimensions here given side is equal to 17 cm base is equal to 17 cm and height is equal to 8 cm then what is the formula in the base and height are given area of the rhombus is equal to b into height base is equal to 17 cm given and the height height is equal to 8 cm now what is the formula to calculate the area of the rhombus if the base and height are given b into h square units a base vandu enna kuduthirukanga 17 cm into height 8 square cm now multiply and write the answer 8 7 are 56 remainder 5 1 8 are 8 plus 5 is 13 136 square cm the whole area of the rhombus is equal to 136 square cm okay now the next example 2.7 calculate the area of the rhombus having diagonal 6 meter and 8 meter in the previous problem base and the height are given then we calculated the area of the rhombus now the diagonals are given how to find the area of the rhombus now draw the diagram uh, by the rhombus 
numbers A, B, C, D. Here the diagonals 8 meter and 6 meter are given. First we will name the first diagonal D1 as 8 meter. And the second diagonal D2 measurement is 6 meter given. If the diagonals are given, the area of the rhombus is equal to half into product of the diagonals. Half into D1 into D2 square units. Don't forget to put the square units. Half into what is the value of D1 given? 8 meter. And the value of D2 is 6 meter. Now we um, uh, simplify this. 1, 2 is to 4, 2, sorry. 4 into 6 is equal to 24 square meter. 4, 6 are 24 square meter. Therefore, the area of the rhombus is 24 square meter. Have you all understood? If the diagonals are given, then the area of the rhombus is equal to half into product of the diagonals. Half into D1 into D2. Now, half into 8 into 4. 1, 2 is 2. 4, 2 is 8. Now, multiply 6 and 4. We will get 24 square meter as the area. Now, next example 2.8. If the area of the rhombus is 60 square centimeter and one of the diagonals is 80 centimeter, find the length of the other diagonal. In the last problem, two diagonals are given. We calculated the area. Now, area and one of the diagonals is given. We have to calculate the other diagonal. Given the length of the one diagonal is equal to 8 centimeter. D1 is equal to 8 centimeter. And the area of the rhombus is equal to 60 square centimeter. What is the formula? Half into D1 into D2 equal to 60 square centimeter. Half into what is the value of D1? 8 centimeter given. We have to calculate D2. That is equal to 60 square centimeter. Now cancel these two values. And 4 2s are 8. Therefore 4 into D2 is equal to 60 square centimeter. Now D2 is equal to 60 when we bring the 4, multiply a product value to the right hand side of the equation, we have to divide 60 with 4. How will you divide? 1, 4 is 4. Remainder 20, 15. 15 square centimeter. Therefore, the length of the other diagonal is 15 square centimeter. Okay. Now the next problem, the floor of an office building consists of 200 rhombus shaped tiles and each of its length of the diagonals are 40 cm and 25 cm. Find the total cost of polishing the floor at 45 rupees per square meter. I will explain the meaning of the problem. Listen, floor of an office building uh, it, uh, consists of 200 rhombus shaped tiles. Or office or a floor tarai lavande 200 tiles vande padichirukkaranga. Adu vande enna shape la irukuna rhombus vadivula irukudhu. And each of its length of the diagonals kuduthirukanga 40 cm, 20 cm diagonals oda value kuduthirukanga. We have to calculate what we can do in the total cost of polishing the floor. And the floor is the polish of the floor. One square meter is 45 rupees. That means the floor of the building is the floor of the building. Given diagonal center of the D1 equal to 40 cm and D2 equal to 25 cm. Now, area of one tile is equal to half into D1 into D2. For formula, substitute the half into D1 40 and into D2 and the 25. Now, multiply, uh, sorry, divide it with 2, you get 20. 20 into 25 equal to 500 square meter. One tile on the area of the 500 square centimeter. This is how many tiles on the floor are 200 tiles. 200 tiles on the area is 200 into 500. 2, 5, sir, 10. And the remaining 4 zeros we have to add. Uh, okay, you will get 1 lakh. 1 lakh square centimeter. If you look at one tile, sorry, one square meter, how much is the polish of the polish of the polish of the 45 rupees. That means, one square centimeter, how much is the polish of 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 the polish
பார்க்கணும் இங்கே யூனிட்ஸ் வந்து டிஃப்ரெண்ட் இதில் இருக்குது தேர்ஃபோர் வி ஹாவ் டு கன்வெர்ட் இன் டு சேம் யூனிட் இந்த ஸ்கொயர் சென்டிமீட்டரை ஸ்கொயர் மீட்டரை நான் மாற்ற போகிறேன் அப்போ டென் தௌசண்டால் டிவைட் பண்ணணும் ஒன் லேக் ஸ்கொயர் சென்டிமீட்டரை டென் தௌசண்டால் நம்ம டிவைட் பண்ணோம்னா டென் ஸ்கொயர் மீட்டர் வருது ஒரு ஸ்கொயர் மீட்டருக்கு ஃபார்ட்டி ஃபைவ் ருபீஸ் செலவாகுது அதே மாதிரி டென் ஸ்கொயர் மீட்டருக்கு எவ்வளோ செலவாகும் டென் இன்ட்டு ஃபார்ட்டி ஃபைவ் தட் இஸ் ஈக்குவல் டு ஃபோர் ஹண்ட்ரட் அண்ட் ஃபிஃப்டி ருபீஸ் வந்து பாலிஷ் பண்ணுறதுக்கு நமக்கு செலவாகுது இதே இதில் வந்து ஹோம்ஒர்க் ப்ராப்ளம் வந்து எக்ஸசைஸ் த்ரீ பாயிண்ட் டூவில் வந்து எக்ஸசைஸ் த்ரீ பாயிண்ட் சாரி டூ பாயிண்ட் டூவில் வந்து ஃபர்ஸ்ட்டு த்ரீ ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் யூ ஹேவ் டு ரைட் இன் கிளாஸ் ஒர்க் நோட் ஓகே நவ் காப்பி டவுன் ஆல் த ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் இன் யுவர் நோட் அண்ட் ஃபினிஷ் த ஹோம் ஒர்க் ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் ஆல்சோ ஓகே தேங்க்யூ ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ்